In this video we're going to go over authentication which is the process of actually confirming identity. So the most common way of authentication is the password. Now the problem is, is that even if we had the most secure password that never could be cracked, is this enough to protect organizational data? Some of you may say yes, but the answer is actually no. It really depends on other things that we're doing to protect our data. So for example, if we were to create a table that stored username and passwords and then we would insert users with their username and password into this table, there are some problems that we can see right here. This password is not encrypted, meaning that it's not using a hashed algorithm to kind of hide what this password actually is. In fact, when you created a password on my server, I actually encrypt it with SHA-512 encryption with the SHA-512 salt that is different for every user. That way it makes it a lot more difficult for people to crack the password. Now that being said, it's still not impossible because there are ways to crack passwords such as dictionary attacks and other brute force attacks. So how quickly can your password be cracked? I want you to try this on your own. So pause this video, click on this link, and then enter in your password and see how long it would take to crack. All right, welcome back. So here we are at this link, and I'm going to type in password as password. So we can see here that it would take about two thousandths of a second to crack this password. If I add a little other things, it increases it to five seconds, but it's still likely to be cracked. So the thing that you want to do is ensure that you have a lot of digits. It doesn't really matter how many different symbols you use if your password is not long enough. So you probably want like 12 different digits. We could think of a phrase, so for example, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And I can then change some of these to characters and it makes it a lot easier for me to understand exactly what this password is going to be. But again, we have a limited length. We have three, six, nine characters. So the best thing to do would be to add up to 12 characters and then we can see the strength of the password is increasing dramatically. Now I'm at 1.74 centuries, so if you're going to sacrifice the quality of the password for the length, that is just fine. Make sure that you have a long password. 